Right now in Whitewater, a man is behind bars after police say he held a woman hostage for multiple days. What we know about the suspect. Plus, reaction from the community about fears of violence against Muslim, Arab, and Palestinian communities in the U.S. after a six-year-old Palestinian-American boy was murdered over the weekend. And President Biden is heading to Israel this week. The details on his upcoming trip amid fighting between the Israelis and Hamas. That's all coming up at 10. Police in Whitewater arrested a man accused of holding a woman against her will for multiple days. Authorities took 18-year-old Yeverson Guzman Rodriguez into custody earlier today, not far from Lincoln Elementary. Police have been searching for him since last night. They received a report he'd been holding a woman against her will inside a home for multiple days. Police say Guzman Rodriguez had strangled and beat her. We spoke with a neighbor who lives across the street from where police started searching for him. He is relieved the suspect was caught. X notification knowing like he was arrested. I'm like, oh, thank God. It's crazy that it was happening right on my street. Like, you like see things in the news like that, and you're like, whoa, that's, and then it's actually like in your backyard or like across the street, yeah. Well, he's currently in the Walworth County Jail and faces multiple charges, including kidnapping and false imprisonment. Over the weekend in Janesville, a man was arrested after police say he fired a gun from a vehicle, leaving the parking lot of a bar and grill. Police say he fled on foot, eventually jumping into the Rock River, but he was arrested thanks to the help of a boat used by the fire department. 34-year-old Eric Heisey was has been charged with a felony count of second degree recklessly endangering safety for shooting a gun. Janesville police say they responded to a disturbance in the parking lot of Riley Sports Bar and Grill Saturday night. That's when a gunshot was heard. Heisey reportedly got out of the passenger seat and ran from police, eventually ending up in the river. Well, a sunny start to the week, but the temperatures out there tonight are dropping. There is the chance that you might wake up to some frost. Meteorologist Alex Harrington has the details in the first warning forecast. Yeah, Charlotte, the frosty details out in a really a picture perfect patio for that all fall like behind me and it's going to be fall like in the forecast. Let's take a look out there right now. Frost advisory is already in effect for Juneau and for Adams counties from one o'clock in the morning till seven o'clock on your Tuesday morning. I do think we will see patchy frost across all of southern Wisconsin. Those temperatures out there right now are dipping down. Look at that 39 just to the uh, 39 actually right here in Madison 38 to the west. Our, our friends up towards the Middleton area across plains at 39 degrees 41 degrees just to the south and to the west. This is what we're planning for low temperatures tonight. They're dipping down we might have to adjust them a little bit with temperatures middle and upper 30s folks. You can get frost in the middle to upper 30s especially if you're in those low lying susceptible areas. I mentioned Juneau and Adams counties but there are other folks, Lone Rock, Arena, Spring Green, Mazomani. Sometimes you folks tend to get the patchy frost as well when temperatures are in the middle to upper 30s. But a nice day is on tap on your Tuesday. We'll do upper 50s to right around 60 degrees. And a little bit later in Maine weather, I'm going to explain photos like this. We could be seeing photos like this sent to us via the first warm weather distribution. And look at that frost in the foreground, frost in the background. But look underneath those trees and underneath those bushes you don't see the frost. I'll explain why that is, and I'll explain when you can expect rain. That's coming up. An armed man who Madison police say went to the Capitol and demanded to speak with the governor has been charged with the misdemeanor of carrying a firearm in a public building. 43-year-old Joshua Pleznik was arrested October 4th after carrying a handgun inside the Capitol. He was quickly arrested, taken to jail, but bailed out. Police say he then returned armed with an AK-style rifle. Governor Evers was not at the Capitol that day. Please, Nick, will make his first court appearance on Thursday. A Beloit mother is experiencing heartbreak like never before after losing her 10-year-old in a shooting last month. Ashley Gray says another parent, Jose Manuel Sandoval Tenorio, left his 9-year-old son alone with her son, Aiden, when the other boy shot and killed him with a gun that was left in the home. A criminal complaint was later filed charging Sandoval Tenorio with a felony count of endangering the life of a child and a misdemeanor for possessing a gun without proper registration. Since Aiden's death, Ashley and her family have visited his gravesite every day. He should be in school right now or playing with his friends, learning, singing, dancing, being goofy. But instead, me and his dad and his siblings get to come here every single day to see him. Record show Sandoval Tenorio was let out on pretrial release. He'll be back in court on Wednesday morning. New tonight, President Biden will visit Israel on Wednesday. It is a high stakes trip 
which could stand as a dramatic show of support for a top U.S. ally. It would also send a warning to other countries in the region against escalation. Aides say the president expressed a strong interest in making the journey after an invite from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu over the weekend. A six-year-old Palestinian-American boy who was stabbed 26 times near Chicago Saturday was laid to rest today. Police say he and his mother were attacked by their landlord, allegedly because they are Muslim. Investigators have learned Wadea al Fayume and his mother were stabbed in the room they rented from 71-year-old Joseph Zuba in Plainfield. The boy's mother remains hospitalized, recovering from more than a dozen stab wounds. Zuba is being held without bond. Muslim leaders say the child paid the ultimate price for an atmosphere of hate in the U.S. It pains me that the sacrificial lamb to this atmosphere was this beautiful, young, six-year-old boy who had his whole life ahead of him. Zuba made his first court appearance today on charges of first-degree murder, attempted murder, and two counts of a hate crime. Authorities have now opened a federal hate crimes investigation. The local sheriff saying in a statement both victims in this brutal attack were targeted by the suspect due to them being Muslim and the ongoing Middle Eastern conflict involving Hamas and the Israelis. The attack on the young boy and his mother is furthering concerns of violence against Muslim, Arab, and Palestinian communities in the U.S. Arman Rahman sat down with the leader of a local anti-hate group and law enforcement about what that means for us here. Arman? The leader of We Are Many United Against Hate tells me how elected officials and the general public comment and react to tense international conflicts like the one in the Middle East will be the deciding factor in whether a hateful sentiment like this spreads. The environment of fear and hate is out there. And because of this, people are reacting. Masood Akhtar says he's still feeling for the family of Wadia Al-Fayumi. That how someone can kill and brutally kill six-year-old son simply because he was a Muslim and he was a Palestinian. Investigators in Plainfield, Illinois, say the alleged killer targeted the boy and his mother due to them being Muslim and the ongoing conflict in the Middle East. Akhtar saw Islamophobic violence spike after the 9-11 terrorist attacks. Well, it's always the case when something happens. Just like then, he says elected officials have to recognize how important and volatile public discourse can be. The life of a Palestinian Muslim should be treated as equal to life of a Jewish person. If we don't work together in a nonpartisan way, I'm just very concerned that things are not going to be better. He also calls for more education and cross-cultural relationships. We need to get out and tell people at all levels, starting middle schools and high schools, about this conflict in Palestine and Israel, about the history of what's happening. While there have been no credible threats in the U.S., law enforcement has increased patrols in major cities amid fears of anti-Semitic and Islamophobic violence. In Rock County, the sheriff's office is preparing to train local faith leaders in November. Because of uh, recent uh, terrorist events in uh, houses of worship and how to protect uh, places of worship. County and U.S. Homeland Security officials will teach how to understand and deter threats, investigate hate crimes, and learn about resources and grants to improve safety. But they say something we can all do right now. I would say that uh, the best that we can do is learn from each other, um, have an open dialogue and an open conversation to learn who we are and, and what we practice and why we practice it. And the Practicing Places of Worship training in Rock County takes place on November 29th from 8 a.m. to 12.30 at the Dr. Daniel Hale Williams Resource Center in Janesville. Registration is open online and it's free to attend. If you live near or around Truax Field, it may be noisy the next two days. Pilots with the Wisconsin Air National Guard will continue training flights in the Madison area this week. Residents may see or hear F-35 jets taking off or landing until roughly 8.30 each night tomorrow and Wednesday. The training exercises will continue next week, Monday through Thursday. While most training flights happen during the day, pilots are required to train at night. Wisconsin Republican lawmakers say the Senate vote last month to fire the state's top elections official has no legal effect. Leaders of the GOP-controlled legislature say documents filed last month to fire Megan Wolf were symbolic and meant to show disapproval of her performance. Wolf's term expired July 1st, but she has remained in office. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call says Republicans don't have the authority to oust her. Wolf oversees the Wisconsin Elections Commission. It's been under fire for three years because of false claims from former President Trump 
that he won the election and lost because of policies elections commissioners put in place during the coronavirus pandemic. Happening tomorrow at the U.S. Capitol, a vote expected to be held for Speaker of the House. It's been 13 days now since Representative Kevin McCarthy was ousted. The Republican conference nominated Congressman Jim Jordan of Ohio for Speaker last week. To become Speaker of the House, a nominee has to secure the majority of the full House, which because of two vacancies is 217 votes. We'll go to the floor tomorrow. Um, it's not about pressuring anybody, it's just about we got to have a speaker. You can't open the house and do the work of the American people and help our dearest and closest friend Israel if you don't have a speaker. If House Democrats unanimously vote for Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries, Jordan can only afford to lose four Republican votes. Republican Senator Mitt Romney says that Oprah Winfrey suggested the two of them run on a unity presidential ticket in 2020 to defeat then-President Donald Trump. That's a passage from a book about Romney that's coming out next week. Romney, A Reckoning by McKay Coppins, is based on dozens of hours of interviews with the senator. Coppin writes that Winfrey, a Democrat, made a pitch to Romney to run together. Romney says he dismissed the idea, believing such a campaign would have inadvertently helped Trump. He's announced he's retiring from the Senate next year instead of seeking re-election. Still ahead, as the temperatures drop, the cases of flu, RSV, and COVID are expected to rise. Coming up, how a new tool introduced by Public Health Madison Dane County will help track respiratory illness this fall and winter season. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Winner of the best evening newscast by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association. Your family's year-round comfort is our year-round commitment at RG Heating and Air Conditioning. We install quality train equipment and service all brands so your home's furnace and AC will perform their best year-round. RG Heating and AC. Elevate your savings at the Century House. Right now, buy stressless recliners, sofas, and office chairs and earn up to $1,500 credit toward the purchase of additional stressless furniture. Or receive $400 off the purchase of any stressless signature base or cross-base recliner in Ottoman. Don't wait. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Welcome back to Sam's Hot Takes. What's hot now? Spectrum One Stream. It's internet, unlimited mobile, advanced Wi-Fi, and this Zumo Stream Box free with Spectrum TV. It makes searching for shows and movies across live TV and streaming apps easy. It's streaming simplified. Get internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and your first line of unlimited mobile free for 12 months. Plus add Spectrum TV and get a free Zumo Stream Box for 12 months. Call 833-788-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or stop by a Spectrum store today. Are record energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive in the blistering heat of summer or the bitter cold of winter. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today and call 1-800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.kwwf.org. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. RG Heating and AC. We'll always treat you like family. Guaranteed. On the Jennifer Hudson Show. The hilarious in this pack. Everybody think because I'm a plus size black woman, they just swear I can cook and they swear I can sing. Baby, ain't nothing coming up out of this chest but sweat from hot flashes. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. 
Welcome back. Young people across the U.S. are struggling to buy homes without major budget help from their family. A report from Redfin found more than a third of young buyers use family money for their down payments. A young buyer is someone under age 30. 38 percent of recent young buyers receive family money to afford the down payment. Nearly three quarters of aspiring home buyers say affordability is the number one obstacle to owning a home. That's according to Bankrate. Among millennials who don't already own a home, 44% say income is the top barrier to buying, closely followed by down payment and closing costs. Public Health Madison in Dane County is launching a new way for our people to track respiratory illnesses this season. With their new data dashboard, you'll be able to find trends by age, test results, hospitalizations, and more. The data comes from multiple sources that other parts of the country don't have access to. It covers COVID-19, RSV, influenza, and some other viruses. It also tries to give you a preview of what's to come. So using some of those data sources that are a little bit more predictive, um, it'll give a heads up, hopefully, that flu might be on its way or COVID increases might be coming. PHMDC hopes the dashboard can help people make decisions based on the data it provides. To find this dashboard, just head to publichealthmdc.com slash coronavirus slash dashboard. Well, unleash your curiosity this week during the 13th Wisconsin Science Festival. It started today and runs through Sunday with events in more than 50 counties. Each day there are multiple events that the whole family can enjoy in person or online. The festival's goal is to give people of all ages the opportunity to learn something new in different areas of science. Anybody can be a scientist. Science is everywhere and all around us and is happening all the time. And um, you're never too old to learn something new and you're never too young to teach something as well. So we really try and embrace that. The biggest event is Thursday night at Science on the Square in downtown Madison from 5 to 9 at night. For more information on the schedule of events, visit WisconsinScienceFest.org. Last month, there were more than 550 winners of this year's Best of Madison Readers poll. Dozens of those categories voted on involved food and drink. With the winners now crowned, Madison Magazine put on its Best of Madison taste party at the Edgewater Hotel tonight. Ticket holders enjoyed food and drink samples for Best of Madison winners as well as other local vendors. And what's a party without music? A DJ was on hand spinning tunes while guests enjoyed unlimited samples. Well, some of the best museums in the country are located in Washington, D.C. This weekend, one is set to reopen after more than two years of renovations. The National Museum of Women in the Arts will reopen this weekend. It's holding a members preview Friday, a formal reopening Saturday, and a free day on Sunday. The museum says contemporary exhibits highlight the remodel of the 1908 building. It calls itself the first major museum just for female artists. Actor Jason Momoa was in the Midwest today making several stops throughout Iowa to promote his vodka brand. While Momoa is most commonly associated with being from Hawaii, he spent part of his childhood in central Iowa. Graduating from Norwalk High School, anyone 21 and over who bought a bottle of Maley Vodka could have the bottle signed and received a photo with the Aquaman star. Fans of his shared what it was like to meet someone from the big screen. He's a, a down dude, and I love his acting and the roles that he's been in. Uh, my favorite being C. It's an Apple show, so that's not really one of his most common, but uh, that's my favorite. And Momoa will be in the Milwaukee area Thursday for two bottle signing events. He'll be signing bottles at the New Berlin Costco from 10 to 11.30 in the morning. Then from 2.30 to 4, he'll be at the Total Wine and More store in Brookfield. The events are open to anyone 21 and over, but only Costco members can attend the Costco event. Meteorologist Alex Harrington back with a first worn forecast, and we're drying out to start the week. Yeah, indeed we are, Eric. Farmers can get back out into their fields, although we're going to be tracking another wet weather system that might make our farmers have to retract a little bit. Good news is that weather, wet weather system in our three things that you need to know here. It's not looking like a heavy wet weather system. We're also tracking patchy frost tonight and a pretty nice day on your Tuesday. Low temperatures as you wake up also on your Tuesday morning, middle to upper 30s. Again, we could be looking at some patchy frost across Dane County, but then we warm up quite nicely, pretty close to normal for this time of year with periods of sun out there, upper 50s to right around 60 degrees over portions of western Dane County. Just widening things out here. This weather model is updating here, folks, and what we're going to track here are the clouds because that's part of our weather story overnight. With the help of my little magic monitor here, let's look at our temperature is 41 degrees as of 2 a.m. But what we want to look for are white conditions here. Those would be clouds. Tries to fill some clouds in here, but there's also some filtering of clear skies. 
Clear skies allows that heat to go out to space. So I do think we all stand the chance of seeing that patchy frost. 38 to start off, already at 44 by the time we get up to 9 a.m. So the frost conditions will quickly deteriorate as we go on through your Tuesday, meaning it melts away in a pretty nice day. Partly sunny skies by the time we're at noon, 52, maybe nice day to take a walk outside. 57 late afternoon, so a pretty nice day out there. Winds west southwest at four miles per hour really can't be beat for this time of year and temperatures in the 50s cooling off here on your Tuesday evening across to all of southern Wisconsin cracking the 60 degree mark over portions of southwestern Wisconsin. So really it can't be beat that wet weather system that I was mentioning as we fast forward here into our Wednesday. Watch it light up with a couple of showers out there. So farmers those that work outdoors take note of this but it moves through really, really quickly. In fact, another little batch of showers, periods of them on Thursday, but there's dry time too as well. Not expecting heavy rainfall with this wet weather system. Look at this quarter inch, tenth of an inch, maybe a half inch down towards Monroe and Janesville, but most areas staying on the light side. Now I said in first weather, I would explain this picture here. Thank you, Logan, for sending us this picture from Fitchburg. What we're looking at here is patchy frost in the foreground and in the background, but look at underneath the trees. Notice it's greener underneath the trees. There's no frost that's forming underneath these trees that have foliage on them right now. We still have the leaves out there because they haven't fallen to the ground yet. So what's going on here? On a clear night like tonight, that heat goes right out to space. That allows the temperatures to go down. When you have a tree that has leaves on them, that heat tries to go out to space, but some of it is sent right back down to the ground, keeps the ground just a little bit warmer. So where you have no trees, you get the frost. And where you do have a tree or a bush that has that foliage on it, you don't get the frost. So that's why you see some of those nifty differences between trees and no trees and where the frost tends to set up. Frost is expected to set up more so Juneau and Adams counties where we do have that frost advisory until seven o'clock in the morning. But again, I'm expecting frost chances really just about everywhere. Bottom line with our forecast, frost chance overnight, another cool yet a pretty nice day on your Tuesday. Rain chances enter Wednesday, Thursday, maybe lasting into Friday, although Friday chance is slight at this point in time. I don't see this being a big rain that's going to impact our farmers or folks out that work outdoors too much. And as we head towards next weekend, temperatures in the 50s again, a little bit cooler than normal for this time of year. Normal high temperatures are right around 60 degrees. So not a bad weekend, perfect weekend for fall festivities. Got to thank you, Sue. And then we got Sam and Luna in this picture here from Spring Green on a beautiful day today. Thank you for sending us those photos. You know I like to show the weather. First Warren at WISCTV.com. Coming up in sports, when it comes to college football, Wisconsin running backs are in a class of their own. See what Braylon Allen did this weekend to earn himself a spot at that table next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Visit our fall festival open house November 1st for a tour or call Demery today. At Foster Funeral and Cremation Services, we honor legacies. Let us take care of the arrangements so you can focus on saying goodbye. Veteran owned and operated. Experience exceptional care and affordable service with Foster Funeral and Cremation Services. Who's always behind the scenes helping make safe, regulated childcare possible in Wisconsin? DCF. We're your trusted source in support of quality childcare. Learn more at qualitychildcare.wi.gov. I had a lot of bad days with gout, but that one took the wedding cake. Even with medicine, my uric acid was still too high to stop painful gout buildup. Then a gout specialist told me about Cristexa. Cristexa is a prescription medicine for adults with gout whose symptoms are not controlled by other gout medicines. I learned Cristexa quickly starts working to break down gout buildup. Cristexa is an infused medicine. Serious life-threatening allergic reactions can occur while taking Cristexa. Tell your doctor right away if you have symptoms such as shortness of breath, trouble breathing, dizziness, itching, or swelling of the throat or tongue. 
Cristexa is not recommended if you have high levels of uric acid without a history of gout. Do not take Cristexa if you have a rare disorder called G6PD deficiency or favism. Before receiving Cristexa, tell your doctor if you have a history of heart problems in all the medicines you take. Cristexa may cause gout flare-ups, allergic reactions, nausea, bruising, sore throat, constipation, chest pain, and vomiting. I received Cristexa for about six months. Now I'm in control, not gout. Find a doctor who specializes in gout at goutdocnow.com. At Lawton Cates, we're all about comebacks. Whether it's helping you recover after an accident or return to the job following an injury, we fight the odds and the insurance company for our clients every day. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Once you pick up an Arby's cheesesteak, it's going to be tough to set that thing back down. Hey, put it back. The commercial is not over. Arby's, we have the meat. Save on your next project with 11% off everything at Menards. Update the floors in your home with Great Lakes Vinyl Flooring. It's a perfect addition for any room in your home. Find a wide selection of waterproof and durable floors that are easy to install. Great Lakes Vinyl Floors also feature an attached pad for comfort and noise reduction. Heritage Vinyl Plank is only $3.29 per square foot after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Visit our fall festival open house November 1st for a tour or call Demery today. When Tanner Mordecai hit his hand on a Hawkeye defender's helmet on Saturday, he tried to keep playing. On the very next play, he even took the snap, but when he went back, he had to fall to the ground, and he yelled to the sideline, I can't throw. This morning, Luke Fickle confirmed that Bucky's starting quarterback did get that surgery on his broken hand and got a pin in it, and now there is no timetable for his return, which leaves redshirt freshman Braden Locke as Wisconsin's next man up, and for Fickle, it hurts to lose his ultimate competitor, but he believes locks has the keys to succeed but I, I'll be honest with you he's got a great head on his shoulders I mean there's nobody that's in this building more than than him um, maybe Tanner be the only other one that that pushes the envelope to got to kick him out of here um, but I feel we feel really good about his ability to execute do a lot of the things that uh, that we have done um, but everybody has their strengths and, and we'll have to play a little bit more in, in some of those ways towards what we feel like he can do best and maybe overlooked with all the big storylines from this weekend, Braylon Allen surpassed 3,000 career rushing yards, becoming the fifth fastest Badger to reach that mark in the 14th ever. Allen is leading the Big Ten this season with a little bit over 93 rushing yards per game. Is there anything that you can say you can do 17 times in a row confidently? What about 27? No? I'd say me either. That's what makes Wisconsin volleyball so impressive. The nation's top team has won 27 straight sets and are 17 and 0 on the year. But for Kelly Sheffield, no streak, no matter the length. During this team's regular season, it's not going to matter if it's in the regular season, especially when they've got the best of their schedule yet to play, which starts this week with a rematch against number 22 Ohio State and a trip to number two Nebraska on Saturday. We're trying to play good volleyball no matter who we're playing against, but there's also an awareness that I, you know, I, I think we've played one Big Ten team up to this point that has a winning record. We're about ready to get some people that have won a little bit more uh, out in front of us, and, uh, and some of those will be on the road uh, where it's a little bit tougher to, to play. And so I think we'll probably learn a little bit more about ourselves uh, here c coming up. And with all that success comes the awards. The Big Ten announced this morning that Sarah Franklin is the conference's player of the week. The senior outside hitter tallied 34 kills and their wins over Rutgers in Maryland. The honor is her second of her career. We'll be right back. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at Lens Crafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Get 50% off lists during the big fall home sale at Slumberland Furniture and one of our best finance sales of the year. Pay no interest for three years. Get this stylish sectional for just $7.99. Looking for reclining? 
Get this super comfortable reclining sofa for just $5.55, plus lots and lots of other incredible deals, like a four-piece modern bedroom group for just $9.99, up to 50% off the Big Fall Home Sale, one of our best finance sales of the year, only at Slumberland Furniture. The biggest thing for me that I've learned through working with Thrivent is that you can accomplish anything you want to. It's just about finding the right road, the right path, the smart moves. It's never about, in the game of golf, just one thing. It's everything. It's all-encompassing. In Golf Galaxy, we are your team. And if you have a question on your equipment, your fitter's here for you. If you have a question on your swing or something mechanical, our Class A PGA professionals are here for you. If you need help fixing something, our club techs are here for you. We have the fitting bays. We have the track man. We have Biomech putter fitting system. When you come in, we want to fit you with the right apparel, the right footwear. We have everything that you could possibly need to improve your game. I suffer with psoriatic arthritis and psoriasis. I was on a journey for a really long time to find some relief. Cosentix works for me. Cosentix helps real people get real relief from the symptoms of psoriatic arthritis or psoriasis, serious allergic reactions, severe skin reactions that look like eczema, and an increased risk of infections. Some fatal have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine or plan to, or if IBD symptoms develop or worsen. I move so much better because of Cosentix. Ask your rheumatologist about Cosentix. From Lincoln Center Theater that brought you The King and I and South Pacific comes a sumptuous new revival of the most perfect musical of all time, My Fair Lady. At Overture Center, November 21st through 26th, tickets at overture.org. This may sound strange, but you've been here before. You were here when this wrench was turned, and when this line was drawn, oh, and when this stitch was sewn. You inspired the Lexus ES to be, well, more you. So thank you. We hope you like your work. Lease the 2024 ES350 for $519 a month for 36 months. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Closed captioning sponsored by Community Shares of Wisconsin's Workplace Giving Campaign. When we go to Alex, one final check of the forecast. Yeah, we're talking all kinds of fall stuff here. The, over the commercial break, fall-like out there, frost advisory to the north, Juneau and Adams counties. We all stand the chance of having a little patchy frost as we wake up on your Tuesday morning. Wet weather system and then fall-like weekend ahead. All right, Alex, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News for Now at 10. Do something good and we'll see you back here tomorrow.